How to do problem set three, part two, discrimination and crowding. Some people want to be electricians, some like to clean teeth, some men like to be electricians, some men might like to clean teeth, some women like to be electricians, some women might like to clean teeth. At any wage, there are probably some people from both genders who would choose either or both occupations. So we can draw supply curves for each, for men or for women. We have, at any wage, men and women who want to be electricians. The total, over here, the total number of men and women who want to be electricians is the men plus the women gives you the total at any wage. The same for dental hygienists. At any wage, there'll be male, men who want to be dental hygienists, women who want to be dental hygienists, and some total number of people. The number of men plus the number of women equals the total number of people who want to be dental hygienists. Um, here's a tooth. Just you have to know what we're talking about. A nice, clean tooth. What happens when men can't be electricians? Okay, so we start again. We've got labor supply and demand. So there's some demand curve for electricians. Now, we used to have women, men, total. So at any wage, this number of women, this number of men, and this would be the total number. Given the labor demand and supply, it's actually down here. Now, in practice, given what I've drawn here, there'll be very, very few electricians at that wage if you throw out the men. Fine! So we throw out the men. We could say throw out the women, and somebody might say, that's more realistic. But who cares? Realism is not the issue. The issue is being an economist. He is an economist. Big smile. Because they're making a big joke. Yeah, no women, no men. Nobody will be an electrician. Okay, anyway. So we throw out the men. Cross that men. No men. Only women are going to be electricians. So here is the supply curve. This is not just the women's supply curve. This is the total supply curve for electricians. What happens to the wage? The wage goes to here. This becomes the wage. And this is the number of electricians now. Very few electricians compared to the before. And the wage is way higher because only women are being electricians. If only women are being electricians, then what happens to the supply and demand of dental hygienists? Maybe it used to be here are men, here are women, and here's a total number of dental hygienists. Now, if men can't, become, can't be electricians, then the number of men interested in becoming a dental hygienist moves up a lot. So maybe the number of men will become over there. And what happens to the total supply of dental hygienists? It's going to shift out. Here's the new total out here because the new male number is much higher. Now, at that situation, if this is the demand curve, then we go from a situation with this number of dental hygienists to this number of dental hygienists. And the wage goes down commensurate with the increase in the total supply. The wage goes from here to a wage of, of here. The price of electrician services rises, and there's less output. Used to be, with wages at you know, the level they were, there was a supply of electrical services. Uh, here was the supply of electrical services. Supply of electricians' services 
was over here with men plus women working as electricians. Not anymore. Only women. Supply is less. Wages are higher. You have a shift up in the supply curve of electrical services. Less electrical services will be provided. Only this much instead of this much. He is with men plus women. He is with only women. Less is being done. Dental hygienists, the opposite. Well, Q, quantity. Um, this was with, with men plus women. Electricians. Here's the demand curve. He is only women electricians. When there are only women working as electricians, then the supply of dental hygien hygienic services increases and the price falls. So if you have dirty teeth and you, all your appliances and your electric services are all working fine, then you're happy that men are not allowed to be electricians anymore because you can get your teeth cleaned for less. Excellent. Everything's good. There's a problem here. Many problems. First, how do you keep the electrician's wages high when there are all these men out there who would like to be electricians, especially given that the wage is so high for electricians? Do you have a law that only women can be electricians? Do you beat up men who want to become electricians? You have all these tough women around going around beating up the men who want to become electricians. Do you just, all these women, do they all get together and say, we're just not going to train men. We don't like having them around. We're not going to train them. That's going to be a little hard, especially since they're going to be men willing to pay to become trained, and there'll be employers looking to hire men because they're cheap, and the employers will be looking to get those men trained. Maybe what you need to do is persuade everybody out there that men just can't be good electricians. Only women can be good electricians. Maybe you can persuade the men that being an electrician will ruin their sex life. No woman would be interested in dating an electrician. Well, I'm not sure whether you'll be able to do this forever, but men have been doing a pretty good job of keeping women out of some of these trades for a very, very long time. So maybe the women could keep the men out. Well, anyway, that's the story. Thank you very much.